الله أكبر يا رب يا الله يا الله يا الله ما أعرفك The Global Summit is a scenario-based role-playing activity where students will become representatives of various countries as members of the Security Council. Each student will receive a set of specific instructions from their capital and the council will be convened in order to respond to a situation in the Middle East. Just with um, your guys' comment, yes, it will be hard to regulate us, but it's, if it's hard, it's worth doing. As I said before, I will say it again, democracy is not always the proper way of government. I urge delegates and implore you all to consider whether or not this will actually be effective and whether or not this will have impact. Make no mistake, the situation in the Middle East is very serious. We essentially have a state of civil war in Syria and a situation very close to civil war in Iraq. A lot of democracies have proved to be corrupt, incompetent and even more authoritarian than dictatorships. New Zealand hopes that the House here today can reach a solution which benefits the citizens of Syria. We will not tolerate any inhumanitarian action on any step by anyone, regime or rebels. The delegate of your guys in firm agreement and would like to add that um, banning arms trade directly to Syria might not be efficient because there is a lot of past the border trade and black market trade. And therefore urges all member states to work proactively towards something that can actually help protect lives rather than destroy them and be paralyzed by inaction. And also whilst we're on the topic of armed sanctions, I would like to remind the floor again that NATO and G20 are supporting the rebels. Pretty deadlocked us trying to do anything about the situation but there's been lots of um, humanitarian costs coming through uh, lots of information that we're getting debatable as to this whether the source is accurate or not but there seems to be a chemical warfare and the both sides of the rebels and the government seem to be quite extreme in their violence at the moment um, my biggest concern is that as the UN we will not be able to achieve any progressive decisions and will not be able to help these civilians as we have yet to come to some decisive actions that we could take. I favoured both actions that we've discussed for both peacekeeping and sanctions because they were both um, potential possibilities to end the conflict in Syria with um, fewer casualty rates than if the conflict was just left to unfold. The involvement of other countries has come up in the issue, um, which means that it's now not just their problem, it's not just Syria's problem, it involves all of us. I think that we all need to try our best to maintain the peace and to, because the UN Security Council is our main goal, is to keep international peace and so um, hopefully we'll all come together to uh, make a resolution that will um, favour everyone and solve the problem. Well, the force commander said that um, their efforts of rebuilding has been stalled by various terror attacks and that he was re requesting that the council give him permission, I mean, give him access to 5,000 more, more troops. But most countries believed that it was better to have the justice come to now rather than end it now and then it comes back later on when future 
arrangements happen. It's just the veto power of the P5 really, <laughs> really got in the way there. Um, I think if it weren't for the veto power, the, the council as a general would have voted yes, they were prepared to, but um, yeah, no, <laughs> because of that. I think, I think it definitely is a um, topic that we should all concern about because it's, it is an international topic and it could affect and influence everyone. Mm -hmm.